Hi everybody, it's Monday, May 11th. Um, welcome to another week of at home learning. Today I'm gonna go over what you're supposed to be doing to start your week off. So always go by the schedule so that you can stay on track. So today we're doing a study day and we're studying text structures again. The reason to, I want you to do so much with main idea and text structures is because those are two of the biggest skills you're gonna see next year in fifth grade. And so if you have those down, it'll make you more successful next year in fifth grade. There are also fourth grade skills to learn, but definitely ones that carry over the fifth grade. So let's make sure we're practicing and doing our best. Okay, so you're going to actually review this, this anchor chart. Um, you had an anchor chart last time and you can use that one as well. But this one has the graphic organizers on it. And so you're gonna need to know those for these, this week. So go ahead and take five minutes. You're going to study the different text structures. You should know them by heart by now, but go ahead and study them, what they are and what graphic organizer goes with it. Then you're gonna to go to the quiz. Uh, so if you see this paper right here, it says Monday studying text structures. Um, you are going to first study, then next you're gonna to go to the quiz. You go to joinmyquiz.com and then you enter that code there. And you're gonna take that quiz, I believe it's 18 questions, it's a practice quiz, so if you get some wrong, it's okay. It's there for you to practice, okay? And then um, finally, you're gonna study the graphic organizers that go with each text structure. So you'll find them here, and you'll also find them here. Uh, for example, if you look at this uh, one description, it's a web type te um, graphic organizer because you can put what you're talking about in the middle and things that describe it on the outside. Uh, same thing with sequencing. You'll see it's a line. It's going first, second, and third. Compare and contrast. I know we're re really familiar with this graphic organizer, comparing and contrasting. So the things that are different go on the outside. The things that are the same go in the middle. Then you have your cause and effect in your problem and solution, which are very similar. You have a cause and then an effect, or a problem and then a solution. Now, don't worry too much about memorizing these. I just want you to be familiar with them, okay? All right, and then um, after you do your study time, which will take you about 30 to 40 minutes, you guys are gonna do your brainstorming on your writing piece. So this one is called It's Too Late, and I'm gonna read it for you. Kids love to stay up past their bedtime. Parents don't always agree. Do you think it's okay for kids to stay up late? Write a paragraph to convince others that kids should or shouldn't stay up past their bedtime. So you're giving your opinion and then you're telling me why. So today we're just brainstorming what is your opinion and why do you feel that way, okay? And then finally for social studies, you actually have an assignment that will span out over the whole week. Uh, so if you look at this paper here, it tells you that you're gonna create a career day poster. Now you can create that poster on regular computer paper or a real poster, whatever you prefer. Um, but it does have some requirements. You have to put what you want to be when you grow up. Why do you want to be this when you grow up? What level of education do you need to complete, uh, compete, I'm sorry, complete for that career? So for example, do you need a high school diploma? Do you need a four-year bachelor's degree? Do you need to go to school for longer than four years and maybe get a doctorate? For example, if you wanted to be a surgeon or something. Um, what is the average salary? So that's easily something you can Google. So you just go to Google and you type in, for example, the average salary of a police officer, and it'll pop up. The average salary for a teacher, the average salary for a pediatric surgeon, the average salary for a welder, the average salary for a veterinarian, the average salary for a cardiologist, a plumber, a fashion designer, um, Anything that you want to be, you should be able to Google the um, salary, okay? The other requirements are um, that you write a paragraph about what a day in the life of this job would be like for you. And then two or more pictures. You can print them out or you can hand draw them. I put some examples on here for you guys um, so that you could look and see what other kids' posters have looked like in the past. And um, some of them you'll see are really fancy and some of them are not, but... What is important to me is that you hit all this right here so that you can get all 100 points for this week, okay? All right, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.